So I'm headed to Costco today. I hate going to Costco because it's always so busy. But I have like 10 staple items that I only buy there because it's so much cheaper. And they're like all out right now. So we'll see how this goes. Okay, so I just got back from Costco. I went without eating breakfast, which is always a really good idea. Not. But the reason I didn't eat breakfast is because I'm doing no grains and no sugar right now and no dairy, so that makes breakfast really hard and I didn't have eggs, which is like one of the reasons I needed to go to Costco. So it was fine, I didn't buy anything that I shouldn't have bought, but not really a good way to go to Costco. So I'm going to show you what I bought. So I pretty much just bought the things that I normally buy. The first thing is eggs. I usually get, I think, the five dozen, but they didn't have them today which is really weird, but we go through lots of eggs and they last for so long, so we buy this big thing of eggs. I always buy this box of chicken breasts. I love this chicken, it's really good quality. Um, so because the box is so huge and it takes up so much space, I always open it up and put like two or three chicken breasts in freezer Ziploc bags, and then I just take those out when I need them. I just find that works better than having the huge box of chicken in my freezer because then they get all stuck together and they're all frozen and it's hard to take one or two out for dinner. And then I bought toilet paper. So I always buy this huge, <laughs> I always buy this huge thing of toilet paper at Costco. This lasts us like probably over six months, probably more like six to nine months. Um, and it's like $18, so that's a really good deal. But these, these crackers, um, I usually buy the sweet potato ones that are like super clean ingredients. It's basically like sweet potato and I think there's like salt and maybe one other thing. Um, but this time I decided to try the lentils and turmeric ones. And then I got two loaves of bread. This is just like sprouted bread. I really like this stuff. Um, I usually just keep it in the freezer and it lasts a long time. I got this California snow. It's like cauliflower and it's all like broken up into little pieces and I eat this like rice. It's really good. Um, and you can also freeze this, which is what I usually end up doing. I don't usually buy cucumbers at Costco, but they were cheap and I feel like they've been really expensive everywhere lately. So I just bought those. Bananas, they're always the cheapest there. Avocado oil, I'm actually out of olive oil, but they didn't have the one that I wanted. Um, I bought it like a year ago, so I don't even know if they still carry it, and I've just been kind of wanting to try avocado oil, so I figured I'd try that one out. Strawberries. And raspberries. I don't necessarily always buy these at Costco, it just kind of depends on if I feel like the price is good, um, but I do today. Apples, we always buy our apples at Costco because they're the best. I feel like if I buy them anywhere else, they're always like like not really crunchy and good. So, and the last thing is this trail mix. This is kind of a treat for me. It's almonds, cashews, dried cranberries, yogurt chips, and dried blueberries. I love this stuff. It's really good. And that's it. Yeah, so I didn't buy a whole lot, but these are kind of the things that I always buy at Costco. I usually also buy the Greek yogurt. It comes in like a three pack, but I'm doing no dairy right now. Um, and I often buy cheese and like, or like goat cheese there, but again, no dairy. Um, and then I always buy almond milk there, but I just haven't been using a lot of So I still have some in the fridge. But yeah, I basically buy all my meat there. A lot of our produce that I know we're gonna go through a lot of. I don't go down all, all the aisles just because I don't need anything. But yeah, so we feel like having a Costco membership is definitely worth it, even though there's just two of us. We usually just go like once a month. It kind of depends how often we're home, if Quinton's home, if he's not home. Um, yeah, so I don't do all our grocery shopping there. I'll go to the grocery store kind of in between. But yeah, that's my grocery haul for today. Thanks for watching.